yourself what we're all doing. Is this it? Is this life? I mean, when does the good part start? Tell us how that, how the big leap leaped into your lap. Yes, <laughs> um, it really did. It, it, it um, you know, my agents, uh, it was one of those ones where my agents heard about this, this show coming out. They asked me if I was interested to go pitch um, for it. And I was like, absolutely. I mean, then I read the, I read the pilot and I was like, oh my God, this is like, this is for me. Like, this is a show for me, whether I get to choreograph it or not, like I get to watch this show and there's going to be a show on television that's, you know, for me. Um, so it was like, I really, I prepped, I, I really put a lot of thought into it. Um, and then I went to a meeting with um, the creator, Liz Heldens, our um, director of the pilot and executive producer, Jason Weiner, and another executive producer, Sue Nagel. And when I got in that room, I'll tell you, it, something about it just really felt right. It wasn't like every time you go in and you, you pitch for a job. Um, I, I felt such a care from these people that I just knew instantly, I was like, okay, now I have to be a part of this because I wanna be a part of something. It felt special. I felt like these are the people that are gonna make something special. And with dance, it's sensitive because you know a lot of people wanna make shows about dance, um, but it's a culture, you know, there, there's, and there's a culture within the culture. And I mean, there's so many different dance cultures and it's precious to us because this is our, our lifestyle. Um, you know, so you're always like curious about who's gonna be um, in charge of it, who's gonna be accountable for it. And it couldn't be in better hands than those um, people. Um, so, anyways, that's the that's the the kind of how and, and why I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> uh, now that's exciting because uh, Comfort mentioned that uh, uh, sh you talked to her. What was that one impetus, or what was that one moment you said, "I got to get Comfort on this show"? What was that? What was that moment? And then Comfort, you can you can chime in on on what was. <laughs> Did you give him a hard time and say, oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I knew comfort. I always picture comfort in everything I do. Anyways, when something comes up, I'm always like, okay, let me see. Does comfort make sense? She's one of those people, you know, she's just such a, one, a star on screen, but two, you know, the energy that she brings to a creative process is like invaluable. So you just want it around. You always want it. Once you, once you have the privilege of working with her, you just you just always you know it's, it's that's why it's you see her track record she's constantly working with the same people because they want her around so i was like let me make sure i grab her first before somebody else grabs her for this long haul um but you know for me it's, part of it was the 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 amount of styles we had on this show you know if you know comfort and her range in hip-hop styles and just authenticity and you know she knows her stuff so it's like she, she's valuable to the show because we need that element to make sure that any style that we do, you know, for example, this element of voguing came into the show and I'm like, comfort you vogue. And she's like, not, not fully. I mean, and, and she, she'll always downplay herself too, because, but she knows she's like, but, but there's this guy, Stanley Glover, who we got to get involved mm -hmm. because he's from Chicago and he's the real deal. And she's like, and then I'll train. And sure enough, I mean, when I tell you, it looks like she's been voguing for years um you know but also she brings that authenticity with stanley and because she knows what she's talking about so anyways it's always very important to me because if we're going to do a show about dance you know we owe it to take care of the styles right. that we're going to portray and she's uh, very valuable to that so anyways oh thank you chris there you go, comfort. Um, add on to that comfort uh it means that means it means the world because being able to like i've known chris on the show for so you think and being a part of his process and it's seeing how he works seeing how his brain works is is so amazing to be a part of the process and 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 then we just carry on with that relationship up until now and so i was absolutely um floored when they asked me to be a part of this so i was working on something else and i was just kind of like honestly i'll doubt I won't do that other job and I'll do this because I was just so sold on anything that Chris does because anything he does, it, it just turns into gold because he just has that, he understands dance and culture and collaborative and how important it is and what the right amount of people to bring on the team because we have an incredible team that he's put together um, with Lance and um, Lance and uh, Danielle that also was part of the um, co-choreographer team. And so when you asked me to be a part of it and I couldn't obviously say no. And then we just now, you know, are learning so much more about each other as we go through this process, honestly, because we literally live together <laughs> in, the, in, the, in that sense every day. And then, and then being asked to be a part as a cast, because I only came in as a choreographer at first and then got brought on as a cast member um, because I, I honestly think of his good grace and then also Liz 
and um, and me accidentally being in the show, but like Liz and Jason being like, you know what, you know this, would you like to be a part of the cast and 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 writing me in, and then now I'm in this new journey, and I I'm just uh, I'm talking out like crazy, and I'm, I'm just thankful like, for everyone. But how do you keep comfort off camera? Like, let's be real. I mean, she's she's just too good. It's like it was like we're all sitting there going, this is something's not right. Oh, comfort needs to be on camera, and here we are. <laughs> And there she goes. So, um, Chris, do you see that um, her her recurring role will get bigger and bigger, and and there'll be more of a storyline that connects with with the uh, main cast members, or or what what do you see will happen with Comfort? Yeah, I mean, I think she doesn't know this yet, but I think her character dies in the next episode that we're about. To yeah. Play. Wait, am I not yeah. supposed to? No, sorry. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. What did you do? She, she, uh, she did a sub shablam. <laughs> yeah, shablam. Um, no, I mean, I hope. I think, you know, what, what I love about this show is that they are dedicated in developing as many characters as they can because I think they really have a desire. You know, Liz and her whole writing team and Jason, um, our executive producer, you know, they really want to create a show that, that everybody can relate to. And, you know, there's going to be people that are going to relate to Simone. There's going to be people that relate to Scott Foley's character. There's going to be people that relate to, um, you know, Comfort's character. And I think, and, and it's beautiful to see them really put the time and the care in um, mm -hmm. as we go, because it really is like they, they work hard. You know, it's not a long, it's not a lot of time. It's a lot of characters. Um, and it's really, it's impressive. <clears throat> So do you both see that the, the storyline can go either way from one way to another to another or whatnot, you know, especially with, with all the different characters that are that are in the, in the show? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. This Absolutely. thing a million ways. A million. There's too many ways it can go. But it's so <laughs> there, like everyone's characters, as you see, like Mike's character. Wow. <laughs> like, like Reggie's character as a football player, you know what I mean? Julia's character, like it, you know, you you can just go through so many different ways. They they set it up so perfectly that each episode is gonna literally be like, oh snap, we're following someone. Oh snap, what happened? And oh snap, this is connected. Oh snap, they're interconnected. So you're gonna always be on a ride and it just go, and, and, and it'll take you anywhere. So you just honestly have to just watch it every episode just to see who you get to follow next and who you get to fall in love and who do you get to feel like you're related you're you know you're you're related to in some type of way it's, it's really crazy like people keep asking me like well you know once the finale happens like like i guess they would you know that's they're assuming like okay well they'll perform the swan leg like once the once the show within the show is done with that season how do you where do you go from there and i'm like where don't where can't you go from there i mean it really is like the 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 creativity in these writing rooms i mean it really is like i i, I gotta like be careful because i don't want to spoil anything but yeah. there's a, i mean it's just every episode there's something where you're like who thought of this and you're like oh well the writers <laughs> <laughs> wow that's so exciting um for for you chris you've worked on so you think you could dance as a choreographer comfort you've been an actual uh contestant do you see that this show kind of emulates that um that process that you've all gone through uh, with So You Think or any reality dance shows? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think there's a lot of parallels. Um, you know, it's, somebody asked us if, if like, if it's like a spoof of, of the show and, and Comfort answered really beautifully about like how it's, it's, it feels more like a homage, you know, it feels really like a, like a tribute to these shows, you know, that do, um, you know, tell these beautiful stories of, of, of everyday, people, you know, through dance, you know, there's always like a, a way to connect to these, um, to these dancers. And I think, you know, so I'm excited, you know, I'm, I'm with, with So You Think You Dance not, not happening this season with, with COVID and all, um, you know, it did, it felt like, oh man. Um, so I'm, I'm really proud that, that Fox is continuing, you know, just, just a legacy of dance as it's, as it's been such a huge part of dance on television, prime time, you know, national television. Um, you know, I'm, I'm glad it's it's on this network. I'm glad it's uh, it's here. And I think, um, yeah, I think the parallel is really, really, really beautiful. I think if you were a fan of So You Think You Can Dance, I think you really love, love this yeah. show. All right, what about you, Are you Comfort? You want to chime in to that? 
I mean, like, it's, it's true. I mean, he said it, he said it best. It's just one of those things where it is a parallel, the, the connection of anyone who miss seeing, watching someone's journey. The reason why people loved So You Think is that you, and the reason why I love So You Think as a contestant and to an all-star and to eventually a choreographer is that people got to follow a particular story along with anybody else's show, dance show, where it's like a group or it's a team and you get to know a group of people and you and, and maybe one or two stands out. On a show like this, you, you get to follow an individual and really connect with their story and see how it actually connects with you and, and, and be able to live vicariously through them and through the moments and and then maybe change your life because this person is about to change theirs and they've been through you know it's just all these stories you get to kind of you know find a way to relate to and that's how so you think made you feel and I feel like that's how the show is going to make the world feel again so because we miss that part of so you think is that is that connection to an individual now with the storylines do you think that um the general public will love this aside if they're not a dance fan or whatnot that they can see past that and see that it's about the human spirit it's about absolutely the second chances or taking that big leap absolutely oh 100 percent. there there really is like i keep finding a different connection to a new character myself personally true like i connect to the whole show because i'm like it like it's my life but then literally like, I start connecting to like other people's relationships with their parents. And then like, oh, I hear this story about this. I'm like, oh my God, I, like that's, that's my life. I think, you know, they've really tapped into something. I think, you know, that's the reality of, of a platform like dance. You know, it really does have that. There's all types of people who dance. And, and what I get a lot of times is people coming to me like, oh, I'm not a dancer. And then I'm always like, well, oh, but are you though? Because I feel like there's a little, there's a dancer in all of us, um, you know, because it's really just, an expression. It's just a way to express ourselves. It's a way to have a voice. Um, it's a way to to show that we're happy. You know, when that song comes on, everybody's been at to a wedding and you've danced. Like, mm -hmm. and I think that person is what this show is about. It's not about yeah. the professional dancer that's like the most amazing that is hard to relate to. It's about that person that goes to the wedding or that wakes up in the morning and drinks their coffee and has a little dance on the way out. It's it's you know it's it's the person driving the car, listening to the radio. Yeah, just can't help that can't sit still. You know. Yeah. And it's also like to chime into that. It's like also about like I, I've been saying this a lot, but it's just about like like self-acceptance and then about yeah. like body positive um, positivity, you know, about like um, like age, like not knowing it doesn't matter what age you are, what age group. You don't have to be young. And you're like, oh, I'm too old to dance. It's like oh, you get, like you watch the show and you can take that away and be like, oh, no, I'm not too old to do anything. And, and if you don't want to have to put dance in that category, you can say I'm not too old to do anything that I want to do or any dream that I've been putting myself towards. Um, it's it's it, you know, it has no boundaries. And so the show just kind of gets to, I guess, show you that as well. So talking about the big leap and second chances, for the both of you can each answer separately. What was your first big leap and what was your second chance? Oh. <laughs> um. I mean. Okay, okay, okay. Go for it. Go for it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go for it. I'll go for it. My first big leap <laughs> was Upping, up and moving to Los Angeles from Dallas um, after the show, like, you know, um, after getting, well, actually even just auditioning for the show in Dallas and being like, I have nothing to lose. Nothing ever comes to Dallas. Let me just go. Taking that step and then getting on the show and then being like, what do I do from here? And then taking that leap and getting on the show and then like, I mean, taking that leap and then just moving to Los Angeles after it um, and just seeing where my life takes me you know what I mean and then the second chance happened in the midst of doing so you think because like I said uh, uh, before on um, um, some of the other um, things that we were doing is that I got kicked off top 12 and then got brought back um, for the next the next episode because someone unfortunately got hurt but then it was my chance to really show something that I wasn't able to show then because I was getting down the dumps I was always at the bottom ne I literally every week was always at the bottom and I kind of started my, my spirit started getting you know taken away a little bit and um and then all of a sudden I got back on the show and made it all the way to top eight and then made it on the sh on on as a 
main person for the tour that helped me get a little change in my pocket so then I could be able to move to Los Angeles, which was my dream. And so it's just like being able to just say, don't have any expectations, but always put your best foot forward because you never know what's on the other side. And that's what I did. And here I am now, which is now in a show within a show within a show from a show that I was on. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, my, my, my big leap. Um, let me see. I, my, my big leap moment was really like giving into dance I think I was uh, I was total anti-dance when I was a kid in high school but I ended up going my mom moved me and my sister from uh from Wheaton Maryland to LA and went to Hollywood High School and they were like okay so what dance class do you want to take and I was like I'm not taking dance and they were like well Chris it's performing arts magnet you have to take dance I was like I'm not doing it so to the point where they like put me on a track team like I totally like went past it I was like there's no way you're getting me to dance and then um, but I didn't have a physical, so I couldn't compete in track. So I joined the track team. First, first they made me make the track team. They're like, okay, but you have to try out and you have to make it. I ran as fast as I could so I didn't have to dance. Like literally, like, I'm like, I'm not dancing. And they put me on the track team, but I couldn't compete because I didn't have my physical. So I had, so I just started ditching every day. Don't ditch kids, uh, stay in your classes. But this was a very special circumstance. And so I went, I started going to play rehearsal because my sister's boyfriend at the time, Amafika, was riff in West Side Story at Hollywood High School. So I just started auditioning because he was like the coolest kid in school. And I was just sitting there and I would watch and I started learning the dances, learning the songs. And then at a point they were all kind of like, Chris, you should just be in it. And I was like, well, I'm not even in this class. And they, they brought me up to the teachers and they're like, uh, Mr. Golden, Ms. Bridges, can Chris be in West Side Story? And they were like, I mean, can you sing? And I was like, I don't know. And they were like, we'll try. And I've seen happy birthday. Terrible. Uh, that was my big fall because I fell. But they were, you know, it's high school. So like, it's fine. I can sing it for us. Oh, no. no not since <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> um, and then, and they're like, well, can you see that, you know, any of the dances? And I knew cool. So I did a little bit of it. And they're like, cool, you're in, you're in the play. And I was like, oh, crazy. I was like, okay, cool. And I did it. And I performed like I, in front of, we have a huge theater at Hollywood High School. Like, I think it's just like 3,000 people um and it and it changed my life like doing that performance literally at that point I was like oh I'm gonna do this for the rest of my life and I couldn't believe it I was like fighting it and then the next semester they're like okay so now what do you want to do I failed track by the way uh and I went to the track coach and I was like what I, how do you fail track he's like Chris you missed I think it was like 30 I think I had like 36 out of 42 days that I missed anyways <laughs> uh, but I found what I wanted to do with the rest of my life so I think it was worth it um, and, uh, next semester, they're like, what do you want to do? And I was like, I'll, I'll tap dance and been dancing ever since. Wow. What, a, what an interesting story. I bet you a lot of people don't know that part of your story, do they? Um, so I know that we have to wrap it up. I have so many other questions from, from how, if you've learned, if you learned anything from the, uh, from the, from the cast members and all that good stuff. Um, uh, if you can answer that and then we'll wrap it up. I know you guys uh, have a busy schedule. Away, nothing from anybody. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, have you have you learned anything from from the cast members, especially uh, their growth in in filming the show, or just seeing how they've uh, gone from from the pilot to to season two and and whatever you're recording, whatever shooting now, and seeing their growth maybe in dance or maybe in interacting and, and or just to see how how they're um, metamorphosizing uh, with the storylines. Do we get a season two? You said season two. Oh no, the <laughs> yeah maybe who knows? Yeah, like, yeah, put it out there. Put it out there. Put it in the universe. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I, I grow grow every day working with this cast. I mean, they're all, they, you know, because they bring such, you know, they, they, they're all such actors and they have such a crap. They, they, they're not just like, they'll show up on set and dial it in and, you know, and then do the job and go home for a check. They're really invested in this show. Um, you know, so they're constantly teaching us about character, about who their character is and also just um, in, in, in our process, you know, and, and how to tell the story together. You know, we're all really in that room together with one script telling a story and there one some of my favorite moments are when I'm like trying to do something like well actually I think what if my character does something like this I'm like oh perfect that's what it is you know you have to listen to that you have to listen to your actors um and listen to the script and listen to the music I mean it all really tells you 
what to do. You just you just gotta listen. Um, and and I will say comedy. You know, John Renitsky is teaching yes. a two about about comedy because uh, he is hilarious. I mean, they all really are. Um, but that's been a really fun thing for me. I think it's just yeah. learning that comedic timing through dance because it's it's uh, it's an art form in itself. Wow, it's exciting, exciting. So um, go ahead and sell it to everybody why they should watch it. You, I, a comfort, you can go first, or Chris, you can go first. Whoever wants to go first and just sell it and tell them when to watch. Honestly, just watch the show because it's just necessary. It's just, it's it's necessary in your system. It's necessary after Monday night football. It's necessary because it's just, it hits, like it, it hits your spirit. It just talks to you in, in a completely different way. If you feel you want something diverse, especially it's super diverse and you see a bit of everyone of like, in, in the show that's in you, you see it on the show. And that's what I love also the most about it. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's, a, it's a, you know, I feel like it's that show that's been missing on television for a bit. You know, I think it's, it's feel good. Um, there's a lot of heart to it and there's a lot of laughs. And like Comfort said, you know, it's, it's totally relatable no matter who you are. I know, I, I really <laughs> believe you're gonna find a character that you relate to, um, mm -hmm. you know, and dance. I mean, dance is like, it's powerful. You know, and I think one of my favorite things about working on So You Think You Dance real quick is like, I feel like somehow I personally, like every, every choreographer has a different style. Somehow I would always, I feel like I connected a lot to like, you know, just kind of like, like big, big, like truck driving type dudes because they would come up to me on the street and they'd be like, hey, hey, you that choreographer from TV? And I'd be like, yeah, yeah. They'd be like, oh man, my wife, I don't really watch dance, but my wife had me watching that right. show. And like, I really like, I don't know something about your stuff. Like I always know when it's your routine. I would like always, it always like make me feel something. And I was like, I, was like, I didn't know dance could do that. I'm like, it, it blew me away. And I was like, oh, that's kind of amazing. And I think that's what this show can do for a lot of people. There's, there's a lot of people out there that don't think that they're going to connect to dance. Um, but, you know, I, I hope that they watch it and give it a shot because I, I think it'll surprise them. Yeah. And watch it Monday night on Fox. Monday night 9 on Fox. 9 p.m. 8 central. Boom. Most definitely. I'm already hooked. I watched episode two and I can't yes. wait for episode three. <laughs> yes, come on. I say, are you ready? Yes. The Big Leap, a new drama, premieres September 20th on Fox.